Hey, what's going on, guys? Terribly Tactical with a little bit of an update, okay? Talking about the Manix uh, XL Lightweight, the Sprint Run done in Maximet. If you don't know about this knife or the steel itself, uh, feel free to check out my previous video on it. Uh, the little review, overview, dish out some specs, some stats, and uh, opinions on the blade itself, the knife itself, as well as the steel. And, uh, you know, a brief little overview in and of itself. The steel itself has a higher, let me say itself one more time. Uh, the steel has a higher, Maximet steel, has a higher Rockwell hardness. So it tends to maintain an edge a lot longer than some of the other steels. It is a bit of a super steel in and of itself. Um, but being harder... It's a little bit more fragile. It's a little bit more prone to chipping, and, and it's harder to sharpen. And there's definitely pros, but it also comes along with some cons. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, uh, yeah, you could see that or notice that. There's a couple little tiny chips in the blade. Let's see if we could see it from this side. Yep, there's definitely a couple little chips in the blade. And uh, funny little story. It's all Christian's fault. If you guys follow my channel, you see in the comments, you check out the comment section, you ever stop in on one of my live chats, um, shout out to my live chats, they're always lit, as the kids would say, so definitely stop by for those, feel free to comment and, you know, get involved in all that stuff, but uh, Christian was over, we were uh, shooting some BB guns in the backyard at some, some steel targets, having fun around a bonfire, and... Uh, there may or may not have been a little bit of alcohol involved. And uh, he somehow, we, you know, because we're both knife nuts, right? We're both knife nuts. And, uh, you know, talking about we both carry Spyderco blades and, and stuff like that. And, um, you know, oh, well, you know, my Max Met's better than your S30. And, oh, forget that M4 because he just got a new uh, Yojimbo. Yo the Sprint Run in the Jade G10, which, Spyderco, if you're listening, that should glow in the dark. Um, I get it. Oh, you're going to give away your tactical position and this, that, and the other thing. It's cool. We're knife nuts. You know, it, it make it glow in the dark. But the Jade Sprint Run that Blade HQ does, M4 Steel, he got the black-coated blade, the DLC-coated blade, I believe, um, is what that black coating is. Uh, they're awesome knives. I really want to pick up a Yojimbo. But he had just gotten that recently, and, and, you know, I had just gotten this, and we're like, oh, well, my steel's better than yours, oh, well, you know, this, that, and the other thing, and going back and forth, you know, like bros do when they're, you know, stroking each other off over blades, and, uh, and so, for some reason, Christian, you know, got some balls or something, and he was like, yeah, well, I'll drop my Yojimbo on the ground right now, open, like this. And, uh, if you drop yours, oh, you're scared, you're scared. So, of course, I couldn't back down from the challenge. So, I was like, if you drop yours, I'll drop mine. And so, he he skinned that smoke wagon, as it were, flicked it open, and dropped it. And now, in my backyard, we have, you know, stone, brick, patio kind of thing. Drops it straight down, lands, and, uh... I will give it to him in the M4 of the Yojimbo. His blade did not chip or crack or anything like that. He did definitely get some scuffs and some marring on his G10 scales. And uh, so since he did it, I couldn't back down at that point. So I had to drop mine. So I stood up, dropped mine. All right, dropped it. Hit the ground. Um, there's a couple little spots on the FRN handles like right there and stuff that did take a little bit of abuse nothing serious i'm not worried about it if i was really that worried about it i wouldn't have dropped it um but that is where these chips are from because it hit you know the the brick somehow and because the steel is so hard it's more fragile and more prone to chipping as opposed to rolling or, or stuff like that so you know, there, there's pros and cons to, to different blade steels, to different styles of knives, and things like that. And so, it definitely did chip. Um, that is definitely a knock against the Maximet. You know, if you're just steady cutting paper 
or strings off your shirt or rope or whatever and you don't drop it i mean this this edge will retain its edge for a very very long time and even with those chips in the blade oh nope, that's a terrible example i mean it's it's still sharp it's still gonna cut you know it's still definitely gonna cut i mean it's still super sharp there's a couple little hitches in the blade because of those chips and i have not sharpened them out yet because the blade is still extremely sharp and uh, it really doesn't bother me. I mean, this for me is a cardboard killer, opening boxes at work, opening packages, opening mail, you know, like I said, cutting the string off your shirt, uh, last ditch defensive unit, you know, do what you got to do with that. Um, just all around EDC blade. So I'm going to wait till it starts to dull a little bit and then I'll reprofile the edge and, and fix that all up, um, which from what I understand is probably going to be a bit of a chore, but you know, for the edge retention that you get, again, the pros and the cons, I think it's worth it. So yes, it did chip. Um, Christian, shout out to you, bro. You did tell me so. I knew it would be so. Um, I thought maybe when I dropped it, I could get lucky and I could be like, oh, you see, your M4 sucks, bro. Um, but yeah, knife nerd stuff. Definitely some knife nerd stuff. But yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just an example of uh, of the pros and the cons and the benefits and the detractors of, you know, anything really, but especially when you're talking about knife stuff. Also, another thing on the update of the Maximet, it's not really a super stainless steel. If you can see, there's a couple little specks of patina and or rust. Um, just carrying this on your body, you know, you've got perspiration, your body temperature is usually hotter than it is outside, especially if it's colder outside, and then you go into an air conditioned or a heated environment, and there's just moisture, there's temperature change, all that stuff. So it is a steel, while giving you the benefit of excellent edge retention in, in your daily, everyday cutting tasks, you don't have to sharpen it as much. It does definitely rust a little bit on you if you don't keep it wiped down and oiled. Uh, the... The blade itself, the steel itself, is a little bit more fragile, being a higher Rockwell hardness, and uh, it's a little bit more difficult to sharpen, if you don't know what you're doing, than some other kind of steels. However, for an EDC blade, something you literally use every day, and you're cutting all types of stuff all day long, the edge retention is uh, definitely a plus, in my opinion, plus the lightweight, the slim design, and the ball bearing lock being extremely fun to play with, you know, just all day sitting back, you're thinking, you know, you're at work, you're doing whatever, you know, it's, it's fun, but I still love the knife, um, even with its quirks, even with its cons, because I do believe for my intended purpose of it, the, uh, the pros do outweigh that, and I can maintain my knives, you know, that's the thing, if, if you're going to have tools and you're going to use them, and or abuse them, uh, you got to know how to maintain them, and, and that's how you're going to get them to work optimally for you. So that's the video, guys. Just a quick little update on the Spyderco Manix XL Lightweight uh, in the Maximet Steel, and a little bit of my thoughts and opinions and, and fun little stories about it. That's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Check the links in the description box below. Uh, join the GOA for sure, for sure. Join the GOA. They are the only non-compromised organization fighting for our gun rights. Um, also knife rights, knife rights is cool too. I'm a big knife nerd and, uh, they do a lot for the knife community, which is also a subculture most of the time of the gun community. Um, all the links, the affiliate links, all that stuff. If you want to help support the channel, uh, links, defense, you know, Harry's holsters, all that good stuff. So I can get more stuff like this and do more videos, real stuff, honest opinions, real world testing. And, uh, that's that, guys. Stay tuned for what's next. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you later. Peace.